Welcome to my homework rewards. Today we're going to work on a vector question. This is 12.2 question number 26 from Calculus Early Transcendentials, 7th edition by Stuart. The question asks us to find a vector that has the same direction as this vector here, negative 2 in the x, 4 in the y, and 2 in the z, but it has a length of 6. So the question is asking us to create a new vector that has the same direction as this one over here, we'll call vector v, that has a length of 6. The, our game plan for solving this is first we're going to uh, compute a unit vector of v, and that unit vector will have the same direction but a magnitude of 1. And then we'll just multiply that unit vector by a scalar multiple of 6 to ensure that it has a length of 6 but preserves that direction. So first, let's try, let's see what the length of this vector is. If you recall, the length of the vector is just the square root of each of the components squared. So x, y, and z squared. And this gives us the square root of 4 plus 16 plus 4, which is the square root of 24. Now, we can simplify this by thinking of two numbers that multiply to 24, where one of them is a perfect square. So we can replace 24 with 4 times 6, and then break up our square roots, and simplify the square root of 4 as 2. And this is approximately 4.9, whatever units. So we can see that this vector is a little short, we want to uh, stretch it out so that it has a length of 6. So the unit vector v hat is the vector divided by its magnitude, which is 1 over 2 root 6 for the magnitude, multiplied by the vector negative 2, 4, Keep in mind that this term over here is just a uh, scalar multiple that we can apply to each of the terms. So we'll simplify the 1 half and distribute it into the x, y, and z terms. So this gives us 1 over root 6, negative 1, 2, and 1, just dividing each term by 2. So now that we have the unit vector, this is the, has the same direction as the original vector, but it only has a magnitude of 1. So we want our new vector, we'll call it u, to equal 6 times v hat. So the 6 gives us a length of 6, because the length of v hat is 1. And multiplying a scalar multiple by a vector gives us a new vector, which is in the direction of v hat, which is in the same direction as v. Now if we multiply this by 6, we have 6 over the square root of 6 and our vector. Now 6 over root 6 can be simplified. Um, you can think of the 6 of having an exponent of 1 and the square root is a negative 1 half. So 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So that gives us a square root 6 at the top minus 1, 2, 1. So all in all, the vector u is equal to negative root 6, 2 root 6, root 6. And that is our solution. So what we did was we found a unit vector so that we would have the same direction and a magnitude of 1. And then we just multiplied it by 6 so that we would have a magnitude of 6. Hope you found this video useful. Remember, you can check out my homework rewards for lessons on vectors. You can watch other uh, videos just like this one, step-by-step -step solutions of specific questions. And you can also practice questions using our adaptive learning system that automatically tailors the questions to best suit your needs. It gives you easier questions when you're not doing so well, provides hints, and also recommends lessons for you to review. 
Thanks for watching.